Dear students, good morning. Welcome to Indian Academy Degree College Autonomous. I am Dr. Vanita, head of the Department of Genetics. Today, I would like to introduce the subject Genetics. Genetics helps us in understanding biological programming behind all living organisms. What is genetics? Genetics is the study of heredity, the expression of traits, how the traits are getting inherited from generation after generation. For thousands of years, human beings have been observing the pattern of inheritance of traits and they implemented their knowledge to breed and to domesticate plants and animal species. However, the science behind the pattern of inheritance was understood only in the mid of 19th century. In the year 1865, Austrian monk, botanist, famously known as father of genetics, Grigor Mendel, published his research findings in pea plant, Pisum sativum, as three laws, which are law of dominance, law of segregation, law of independent assortment. In his findings, he stated the role of factors in the pattern of inheritance or expression of traits. Later, those factors are known as genes. What are genes? Genes are the genetic materials which are present in the chromosomes. Chromosomes are present in the nucleus of all the cells of living organisms. Chromosomes carry genetic materials in the form of DNA, DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid. So which you know very well, which is a very complex molecule, which is responsible for growth, development, functioning and reproduction of all living organisms. So this is how genetic material in the form of DNA plays very vital role in the expression of characteristic features in all the living organisms. DNA is a double helix nucleotide which is composed of chemical substances like sugar, phosphate and bases like adenine, thiamine, cytosine, guanine. These segments of a DNA called as genes. In human beings there are thousands uh, of, uh, there are many more genes like n number of genes are present which are getting inherited from generation after generation which are carrying genetic information. So in general all the organisms characteristic features are determined 50 percentage by genes and 50 percentage by environment. In human being cells all the genetic materials are inherited from generation after generation actually in DNA in a cell would be 6 feet long. At the turn of 21st century, an international effort in decoding human DNA called human genome mapping. So this particular aspects provide a lot of advantages in the field of medicine. For an example, if you take um, genetic diseases, Genetic testing can be done for various genetic diseases and uh, prenatal diagnosis um, for understanding inheritance pattern of defective genes and the manipulation of genome can be done with the aid of genetic engineering. Genetic engineering is otherwise known as genetic modification. So what is genetic engineering? It is a process by which we can modify the genome of plants and animals. So the resultant organisms are called as genetically modified organisms which are uh, quite commonly available these days in the market in the form of edible plants and animal varieties which are most important to meet out the uh, growing need, uh, growing population need. For an example, if you take cow which is giving less milk, the, whereas other cow which has the ability to produce more milk. So what we can do here in the sense, you can isolate the genes which are responsible for more milking ability and transfer those genes into the cow which is producing less milk. Thereby you can able to transfer less milking cow to more milking cow, so which is achieved by genetic engineering. What we have done here is nothing, just have transferred the genes which are responsible for more milking ability which is very new and better. Uh, to the less milking cow, thereby we, we could able to modify the genome of less milking cow. This 
uh, technique can be adopted for various plant and animal varieties thereby we can produce more number of genetically modified organisms so with all these possibilities there are certain ethical problems issues uh, we have to find an answer for all these uh, that would be the next stage in understanding genetics i hope you understood what is genetics if you have further queries don't hesitate to contact me thank you so much bye